Jews are no longer safe. Only air is beneath them. Everybody stand back. Stay back. I'll jump. You don't have to do this. There's always something to live for. No, not for me. I've got nothing. I am nothing. This isn't even armor. It's my mother's third favorite serving tray. I'm a failure. A failure! You look like a warrior to me. Even warriors feel fear. There is no shame in it. Fear helps us survive. It's temporary, but honor is not. You'll find no honor jumping off this building. Only death. Talk to me. Honor. Yes. My village. <laughs> We're poor. We get little trade. Fewer visitors. We're dying. I was chosen to kill the Minotaur, hoping it would make us famous. Put us on the map. Save us, maybe. But look at me. I'm no Minotaur slayer. I got robbed by a tiny tour guide my first day here. The Minotaur is already dead. I killed it. You? No. I was supposed to do it. Sorry. Then my people are doomed. Minotaur slaying isn't for everyone. Even if you go home without the beast's head, there will be another way to save your village. Yes, you're right. All I have to do is lie to everyone. Do not put words in my mouth. Why not? They're good words. My people are kind and loving and somewhat dim. Really? Hard to believe. I just have to make them think I've killed the Minotaur. Our village will become a shrine to me. The new Theseus. Mori is the Magnificent, slayer of the Minotaur. We would prosper again. Sounds like a dream. A dream where people care about my village, trade with it. That's a dream worth having. A little look convincing. Like a regal, conquering Minotaur killing hero. Best steal the Pefka leader's shiniest armor. Oh, and a leader weapon. Something I can say I pride from the Minotaur's cold dead hands. <laughs> cold dead hoofs? Don't worry. I'm here to help. Good. 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 Is there anything else I can tell you? An ox that looks like you've looted it from the corpse of a minotaur. Is there a merchant for that in Pefka? When I first arrived, I heard rumors of a legendary axe being kept in Fort Lato. That's where you'll find what I need. What's so special about this axe? They say Theseus touched it. Twice! I'm sure Theseus handled many axes in his time. Well, yes. But he touched this one twice. Now that's the sort of axe you'd expect a Minotaur to wield. You mentioned the shiniest armor was the Pafkan leaders. Where does he keep it? Somewhere safe. Somewhere where little street kids couldn't steal it. His house is well guarded. I'd look there. I've heard enough. I'll find you an axe and armor worthy of a true Minotaur Slayer. Just don't... jump. I wouldn't think of it.
This is the armor Maurice described. It is shiny. Stop right where you are! This is the axe the man from the roof wanted. It's pretty heavy. I wonder if he could even lift it. Now I have both items the man on the roof needs to bring glory back to his village. I better get these to him before he actually jumps.
And I have everything you need to successfully lie to your people. Oh, fantastic! And fear not, friend. This is a lie that will save my people. It'll put us back on the map. Well, um, can I, uh, can I have my items now, please? Of course. The axe and the armor are yours. Just uh, turn around for a second while I change. Oh, you look heroic. Like a warrior who could kill a whole family of minotaurs. Really? You're not just saying that. I mean it. Even I'm a bit intimidated by you now. Wow. It's okay, guys. I'm a hero now. I'm coming down. I feel pretty heroic.